Hey guys, I'm John with Ivory AT, and today I'm going to give you a quick preview of Synaptic on a smartphone. Alright guys, here we are up close with the phone. Right now it's on a Motorola. I have it on a Motorola Android phone. But you could, uh, we're going to have this available on Galaxies as well shortly, and you can also get the Synaptic software itself and install it on another Android phone if you want. So if you already own an Android phone and you would like to have Synaptic, you can just buy the software alone and load it onto your Android phone. So I'm just going to take a quick look through and show you some of the different options available. So for the most part, this is pretty much the same as the uh, as Synaptic on the Android tablet as well. And I've done a very in-depth video on that. So if you'd like more information, you can go check that video out too. Um, but for real quick, I'm just going to go take a quick pass through so you can see the different options that you can do using Synaptic. So the only difference really between using Synaptic on a smartphone versus using Synaptic on a tablet is that um, on the smartphone, since it is a telephone, you can make and receive phone calls and send and receive text messages. Those are really the only two options that you're going to get on a phone versus a tablet. Other than that, it is identical. So again, we can make and receive phone calls. We can send and receive text messages. We have Skype for voice and video calls, send and receive emails, menu, address book, which essentially is your contacts. So you can store all of your contacts in there. Calendar, alarm clock, voice memos, if you want to take a voice memo menu, and save it. Notepad, if you want to write notes and save those. Voice control allows you to use uh, voice commands to do things. Like you could say, send email to, you know, one of your contacts' names, right? So you could, um, I, if, like, for example, if I want to say send an email to myself, I could go in here and say send email to John and it will email myself. Um, camera, toolbox, this has things like uh, magnifier in it, so you can use it as a magnifier. And a reading machine allows you to take a picture of a printed document and scans it and reads it aloud to you. Uh, you have a color identifier, where am I, so you can tell where your location is, um, that kind of thing. Main menu, page, Keep on main moving menu, down here. Entertainment, you have music options, radio, television, social media, Facebook, YouTube. You can browse the web using the web, um, the web browser in there. Phone info, you can get to battery life signal, that kind of thing. Menu, Settings, you can go in here and you can customize the high contrast modes, you can customize the zoom level, the font size, the font type, um, and you can really customize this to work just uh, to look how you'd like. So it can be the ideal magnification level for you, the, the high contrast mode that you like. Right now it's yellow and black, but you could totally adjust that. Help, which shows you the manual and some tutorial videos, and you can also exit back out to the Android operating system. So that's just a real quick overview of the phone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.